Intel, Mr. Gelsinger and David Zinsner, Zinsner announced a big new initiative, Smart Capital Program. Talk about it. What does it mean? Yeah, so I got a chance to talk to uh, Intel CFO David Zisner before the announcement uh, went out, just to uh, make sure that that I understood this, because you know we like to talk about chips because chips are eating the world. But uh, l- let me step back here. Um, uh, Intel is uh, since uh, Pat Gelsinger came back on the scene really doubled down at being a manufacturing uh, powerhouse. You know, there were some questions with the prior CEO uh, on whether they would spin that off uh, some way, shape or form, but Gelsinger came in and just doubled down on it. Uh, And there was the moniker of the overall um, strategy, which was called IDM, which stands for Integrated Device Manufacturer 2.0, which said that not only was Intel gonna double down on its own fabs, it was going to work with other uh, foundries, uh, but everybody had the big question of, well, how is this going to get funded, right? So um, we saw what happened with the CHIPS Act, not only in the United States, but also in Western Europe. That's one source of funding. But but what about the rest? Well, Intel came out with SKIP, which stands for Semiconductor Co-Investment Program, that is a partner model, very similar to what we see in energy when they're building things like nuclear power plants, uh, dams, and and hydroelectric uh, power plants. And what they've done is Intel has partnered uh, uh, specifically on the Arizona FAB, this is a $30 billion investment, with Brookfield Asset Management. They're a big alternative asset uh, manager, and they will provide 49% of the funding, and um, Intel will provide 51% and have a uh, controlling stake. And they're gonna share, right? It's basically a rev share, uh, which th- those terms are, 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 not, uh, are not known yet. But here's all I needed to know, um, which was the rate, there's multiple ways to get funding. You can pay for cash, you can get debt. There are different ways to do this. You can do it with equity. Um, and you, know, you can do uh, a JV uh, like we have here. So, uh, this is lower than Intel's uh, weighted average cost capital. And essentially, you don't need to have a finance degree to understand what that is, but it's essentially an internal rate, a hurdle rate uh, that looks at how you do financing in type inside of your company. So this is actually uh, a deal, a good deal, because it's lower than the weighted average cost capital, probably north of, of debt, uh, but, uh, it's accretive uh, as well. So I think this is is brilliant. I think this is expected. And when you're making $200 billion in investments, you just can't do it uh, alone. So hats off to the team at Intel. Uh, brilliant, uh, brilliant deal. Uh, hasn't closed yet. Should uh, supposed to close the end of 2022. I don't know why it takes that long, but uh, it does. Um, interesting to see how that works out. Yeah, this was a big one. And there was a lot of news this week. And as we said, there's a lot of earnings that were talked about. And this, I think it got good coverage, but maybe not as much as it maybe deserved. In the wake of the CHIPS Act, there's been a lot of attention now towards how are we going to get all this manufacturing underway. Um, there's also a lot of attention towards Intel as to now that this money's coming in, how does the company keep uh, on its path? You mentioned IDM too. Intel has no ambition of not being ambitious, meaning if their intent is to, yes, expand capacity, manufacture more, become a leading foundry here in the United States, but concurrently, it wants to regain technology leadership. You will not hear Pat Gelsinger tell any different story. And while there's certainly speculation as to how big the foundry opportunity might be, and there's speculation as to how difficult it may in fact be to catch up on process and gain leadership back, there has been no uh, sign of slowing. Well, as we all know, it's an incredibly capital intensive business that Intel is in. And for the company to be able to A, keep its focus on the technology leadership while B, concurrently making these mega real estate investments <laughs> of building these facilities and then taking on the responsibility uh, 
financially and at, you know as a participant in the national ambition of bringing more chip manufacturing here to the state, access to capital is going to be key. Um, so this kind of goes back in my mind to the when they brought David Zisner into the company, he worked at Micron as a CFO there. And everyone knows that memory is one of the hardest businesses. It's got lowest some of the lowest margins in semiconductors. Uh, price elasticity is much lower than in the monolithic and higher end chip designs. And he was known for being a very creative uh, CFO. And right now that is exactly what Intel needed was someone that could think beyond traditional levers that are typically pulled by a financial leader um, and could really be a partner to Pat Gelsinger to basically enable him. So this particular idea may take some of their winnings out later by taking and de-risking, but at the same time, it's going to give the company um, expansive capital resources now and over the next few years when the company really needs it. And I think if you're in the market, you're looking at the company, it's been pretty beaten down by the market. Having free creating and having free cash flow, which Intel's balance sheet is much healthier than the, the stock price would indicate. And two, being able to put that capital to work to achieve its IDM's 2.0 strategies, to be able to regain that process leadership and be able to put all the investment needed to speed up op the, uh, the operational capabilities of becoming a leader in the categories it's chasing after. This is going to help. And that's it. That's how I see it. Yeah. This is going to help. It's a move. It's a smart move. Um, and I'm... I'm cautiously optimistic that this is the kind of thinking the company is going to need to regain the leadership it's, it's chasing.